Hi, welcome to another great cow basic demonstration. Um, right, I'm going to talk about the uh, GLCD in memory and performance improvements for the SSD 1306 and the SH 1106 devices. They are both um, good devices, low cost, and uh, very good for GLCD. So we've um, adapted these into to give you five capabilities: um, three for the high memory uh, microcontrollers and two for the low memory controllers before we only had the full GCL D mode which only which required a, um, a buffer of 124 bytes and uh, that was quite a constraint for um, chips without that size of memory. We now support um, low, a low memory GCL D mode and a text only mode on uh, both the high memory microcontroller and all new on the low memory we have a default on the high memory of um, full capability and on the low memory text only. Uh, I'm going to start with the text only because it's easiest to understand. Uh, we're just going to take some demonstration codes. So we'll start with um, that and then look at the low memory and then revert back to the full memory mode. So i um, got some code, got the IDE, got, got a camera hooked up and there we go. Low memory mode. Um, display operational. It's got three pages, got some text with circle and squares, etc. And then some text on page two, and then just a bar running on page three. And I can't quite remember, that's a low memory mode, so it looks just like the, um, the uh, full, mo full mode, but in actual fact, it's only doing it in 128k buffer. So um, let's just uh, have a look at that. That was uh, previously compiled using just over 271 bytes. Um, bytes of RAM. We're going to compile that up now and we'll see what that does. And um, I'll just remove the two defines that were in there because it is actually um, currently a large memory device of a 2K of RAM, therefore it will default to. And uh, here we go, we're in full mode now, and I can see that we're using, I think that's, I uh, can't quite work it out, 1354 bytes. So we're using substantially. A large amount of RAM, and therefore you're pretty well constrained. If you want to use the full, um, the full memory mode, this big, you need this big buffer. And the only, you get certain constraints about usage, how you use the GCLD when you're in low memory mode. Uh, but the code is compatible. Okay, you'll get, you don't have a different set of commands, an identical set of commands. And we do that by introducing what's called the GLCD, open page trans, uh, trans transaction and a uh, closure transaction. I'll come into that. So let me just change my setup so that my um, Mega is now my uh, Uno, which I'm actually using, is going to be a low memory device, okay? So I've actually told it it's a low memory device by um, just turning off the memory, okay? So it actually th thinks it's a 512K mach uh, byte machine, uh, which is what we need to sort of make this thing work. So let's just compile it up as if it was a low memory device and check the memory that's been used. So it's just compiled it up. And as you can see, that's compiled up a 25 byte uh, RAM used in 512 bytes of RAM and it's cleared the screen. It's operational, okay? So we can you have a, a text only mode which uses no buffer at all. But if I do try to do some graphics with no buffer, I'll get exactly the same errors I used to get before. So if I compile up the um, GLCD and then using graphical um, command like a line circle, a triangle or ellipse, I will get a buffer error because there is no buffer that exists. I can't track that error as yet, uh, but you can see there is, there is no buffer and you can't create that buffer without turning the define on. Okay, you just need to put an uh, extra little define in and uh, we'll, it will work. And we'll come back onto that later. So let's look, let's look at the text only mode. What can I do? I can print stuff. Okay, I can print text on the GLCD. So let's print this standard great girl basic, and we'll compile it up. And we were at 25 bytes before. But the way it works is that we can print to the GLCD, but almost like um, an LCD. It's a good way of thinking about it. You push everything out. You don't really know what's there, just push it out, and there it is. We've done that in less than, a, less than 60 bytes. Now, that's because of the string in and the string handle and everything else. 
But what we're doing, we're actually painting it. What we've got here is an eight line device. Okay, we have an eight line device where if I want to put something on the screen, the Y position or the row that it's going to appear on the screen is the Y position divided by eight, because it's integer mass. Um, anything between zero and seven divided by eight is is um, going to appear on what's row zero. Okay, row one, row two, and the last row is going to be uh, row seven, which is actually positions fifty six to sixty three. So you just say the old Y, the GLCD Y position divided by eight integer that and you're going to get it on the screen so if i take 56 i divide that by eight it's going to appear on row seven and that's the bottom row of the device so think of this glcd in text mode as being an eight line um an, an eight line uh, L, uh, uh, lcd uh, but you still use the graphical positions but if you if you put anything between zero and seven it will go on to row zero to put anything between 56 and 63 it will go on row seven that's just the way it works but only in um only in um text mode there we go we've got one at the top one at the bottom which is what we expect now you could put in some of your own device to say row, row zero that to row seven that's fine you go do that anyway okay so let me just use a put a, add a define in here i'm going to add into that define low memory GCL GLCD mode. Now it's still going to need 128k of buffer, just for the buffer, sorry. Then you're going to need RAM on top of that. So you can't run this thing on a 128 byte um, pick. You need to have some other RAM available to you. So I'm just compiling it up the raw code and clearing the screen. It will create the buffers 154. That's not bad. So you do need, you know, and I, this is fully operational. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sample code. My sample code exists of um, some graphical commands like the print, print, lines, circles, all supported. We're going to start with print to start with. And what I need to do is, um, is I, once I go into, into low memory mode, I just use the XY positions as, as normal. Okay, so I'm going to get things appear in the right place. Now I've got them at Y0 and uh, Y8, and I could put them in any combination of X or Y, and it'll just appear in exactly the right place. How does it do that? Uh, it's because I um, need to open this page, tra this thing called the GLCD, open transaction, the page transaction, and I need to close that transaction. And anything that happens between those two commands, it's going to um, handle the page, right, the, these row operations that were occurring previously automatically. So I can draw a line. I can do a line from one corner to the other corner, and the page transactions will update the pages that you've been told you, you're telling it to. So I've said zero to seven. It will update all eight pages. Um, I'm pretty fluent at this because uh, this video has taken four or five times to get right. Um, so it's going to do the print. It's going to type meter twice, and then it's going to put a line from one corner to the other, and I told it to do that because I've said it on the on the, oh, the page transaction, update all eight pages, that's zero to seven. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Um, this code works automatically with the full memory mode. You don't have to change anything. You don't need to put the transaction engine in, but it doesn't harm. You can use it in, in any case, all right? Now, if I change the, um, the transaction, the, the open page transaction parameters to zero to three, it's only going to update the first three pages, and I can update any subset of these pages. So it's actually only going to go to somewhere in the middle where I've got my mouse, maybe a bit higher, a bit higher to the left. But let's have a look where it goes, because I've told it to only update zero to three. So it's only updated row zero to row three in the transaction engine. That's quite useful, because the rest of the screen was not changed. So I can update half of the screens vertically halves and leave them alone because it's not a it's not a, a full graphical tool i can't do reads and writes on this i don't have a read operation to this device this is this is um, quite clever the way the transaction engine is actually handling um, the drawing activities okay so let's um i've got an example code piece of code here let me just uh, comment it out and then uncomment it for you and we'll just compile that up in a second. And it's going to show you a couple of pages, and you can get this code. It's um, 
quite useful code to get. Um, remember, we start on a low memory device in low memory GLCD mode. And I've got uh, some boxes, some prints, and some lines, and I'm going to make a little pretend meter, but I'm going to open up the transaction engine, and then I'm going to close that transaction engine. Now, what's important between those two, uh, open and close, you only have GLCD commands. You can have other commands, to be quite frank, but everything inside there will happen eight times. So if you put a variable increment in there, like increment of variable by one, it will happen eight times. So don't be surprised, right? Anything between the transaction engines, everything happens eight times. Okay. Now, let's compile this on. Um, it was a um, piece of code uh, that I wrote as part of a test. We've got other test programs to get our minds around this. And that's what was there before. And bang, we got some boxes. Uh, I've got a little pretend meter running and then a little arrow that rushing across the bottom. Not quite sure what the arrow does. That was just something to show control different pages and if you look at the code the, the 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 bottom page the bottom transaction is actually only processing um, page seven because it's relieving the rest of zero to, to six alone not changing it it's not interested in those and it's only updating the bottom row which is page seven and that's quite clever because that means that you in a low memory mode you can still manage the whole screen and you can just update as you see fit. So you can paint things and then update particular sections. Um, and here we are, we can see that um, because I've actually told it on the second part of this program to update zero to seven, it's eradicating the previous page. Now, because it, it's a total page between the open and close of the transaction, it is a total page. It leaves alone what's on the screen if it's within, the, if it's outside of your transaction control in terms of the two parameters. But if it's if it's um, zero to seven, that's the whole device, and it's just going to only repaint what's within your transaction engine. And it does that because we've only got this very small buffer. Now. Let's have a look what I've done. So I just commented out the box. So that only a piece of the box is going to appear this time. Look. So here's the front, the first. So here I said, um, look, see the box is gone because I've only I've taken the box out, so it doesn't work. So I'm, I'll just put it back to uh, seven and seven, and you'll see it update um, that parameter. Okay. So two parameters we've got to define character mode and uh, low memory GLCD mode. And um, they, on a uh, high memory device, you need both of these to turn it on into low memory mode, okay? All right, you, uh, you only need one on the low memory devices. Here we go. And, and this, now this time, um, we've got something strange happening because I've removed the box. So the box is not going to appear on, page, on this row seven because I'm not painting a box. And remember, um, you've got to think of this as just um, a very small slither of memory that you're actually manipulating here. So row seven's been updated with only the information of those two lines. So I'll put back the box. Um, I'll just put the box back and quick um, revert the program back to as it was, and we'll see it all come back in because I'm now painting the box. Okay, so what have we got? High memory mic controllers defaults to the full GCLD mode. Nothing's changed there. Low memory mode, you turn the, the define on, and text mode only, you'd have to turn on the, uh, put that define in as well. Low memory mode, um, it defaults to text only, and you have got um, low memory GCLD mode by, by using the define. Um, it's quite useful. Um, it's actually uh, very performant, we do a lot of work on performing. Don't forget, you need the um, page transaction, uh, you need to open it with your page numbers that you're going to be updating. And you need to close that as well. Um, I've um, just going to test something for you. I'm just going to revert back my um, microprocessor, tell it it's got the full amount of memory, and then I'm going to compile up that program and I'm making no functional changes to the actual user code to show you that um, the command set is the same. 
So at this time, it will pass through the transaction. It will actually ignore the transactions uh, of opening and closing. It will ignore all this page addressing that was set up previously. And it will just look just like a normal um, device because um, with the big differences, where I was using 563, uh, 363 bytes before, I'm now using 1256, but that looks the same. Yeah, there are differences, okay? And uh, those constraints will become very obvious. So we wanted to share with you um, these GCLD performance enhancements for the SSD 1306 and the SH1106. And I think we've done that in this very short video. Uh, have a look on the forum, ask questions, uh, but let's call that a wrap.